This is going to be a flowchart for a clock simulator, and it's going to have three nested loops. The innermost loop will be the seconds, that will be within the minutes loop, and that will be in the hours loop. They're called nested loops, and um, I'm not going to do much talking during this one. Here comes our first loop, and our exit condition is going to be if hours is greater than 23, then we want to exit. If it's not, then um, we've already set our minutes to zero, so we can go into our next loop. Now this exit condition is going to be if our minutes are greater than 59, then we want to exit the loop, which will take us back to the outermost loop of the hours, not out to the end, but to where the hours loop begins. So, and we would ha uh, want to set our hours up one. Now, if it, um, if the minutes are less than or equal to 59, then we want to begin our seconds loop. Now, we've already set our seconds to zero, and so we want to set our exit condition. This one will be if seconds are greater than 59. And we want to increase the minutes by 1. And it will continue, uh, it will go around and loop up above the minutes. Now, if seconds are less than or equal to 59, in other words, they are not greater than 59, we want to go ahead and do our output. And that will be to display the hours, minutes, and seconds, and don't forget to concatenate. And we want to increase our seconds by one. Okay, I think that's good. We can see most everything right there. So let's run. Well. <laughs> And as you can see, our clock is going up by one every time. 